everybody? It's Sunday morning, 6 a.m. I just left uh, Dunkin' Donuts, got some coffee, and we are heading to Marlboro, New Jersey, a uh, place called Big Brook Park. It's uh, about 10 miles from me, and hopefully the birds do well. I thought I was going to have some company today. Both my kids, uh, my two older daughters, they said they wanted to come with me yesterday, and they were really excited, and I warned them I'm leaving early. I'm going to be waking you guys up at 545 after I basket the birds, and they were coming, we're coming, and uh, my daughter Olivia, she's five. I couldn't even get her to look at me when I was trying to wake her up, and then I went to my daughter Alice to see if she wanted to come and I started nudging her and I was like Alice you still want to come with me and she sat up and said yeah I'll go to Target with you and I said I was like we're not going to Target we're gonna go take the pigeons and she just didn't react I was like you want to come next time and she just nodded her head and shut her eyes and fell back down into her pillow so uh, my girls are not morning people but that's all right you know would have been fun if they came I would have had some company but uh There'll be plenty of other times they can come. So, all right, catch back up with you guys when we get there. Arrived. All right, guys, so we're here, Big Brook Park, Marlboro, New Jersey. Nice and pretty wide open over here. The only thing I am not a fan of is, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but those are some pretty high wires over there. It's like right on their path home. I mean, those wires look like they run north to south, so it's inevitable that they have to pass those wires. So uh, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that they, they go up and over. Um, I don't think we're at the point yet where I can release smaller numbers. They're, they're not, you know, this is still, we're still very early in the tosses. I would imagine I'd probably have to do a few more at further distances before I can start releasing a little bit less at a time. Um, they're, you know, really used to flying in a group. But um, I guess I'm just going to have to hope for the best with this one. But this is a uh, beautiful spot. Uh, I have coincidentally found this on a map, and it w I was thinking about coming here. And then I talked to uh, Silvio from Matus Loft yesterday, and uh, he did a release from here yesterday morning. So I was like, all right, I'll go there. So his birds uh, did all right going by those wires. So hopefully, hopefully mine do okay too. Um, I had uh, an incident yesterday with a wire. Um, I wasn't even going to talk about it, but I'm not going to hide that bad things happen for, you know, people thinking about getting into it. But one of my birds, uh, Dykstra Mussolini, was flying around my house yesterday after they got back from the toss and he hit the wire in front of my house and broke his wing. So it just goes to show you that um, no matter how many times they fly past the wire, the wires are definitely one of our biggest issues with pigeons and uh unfortunately that bird is well would never have recovered uh the bone came through the skin it was it was shattered the bone it was it was bad it made me sick to my stomach because that bird has been doing so good for uh two three months now has done everything i've asked of him it's always come home always come home fast always trapped quick and you know it's, it's gut-wrenching when that happens to a, a bird that you have uh high hopes for but um it's part of the sport and uh you know 34 in there now so hopefully they do well all right gonna release them soon going towards home all right guys you got this towards home straight home guys all right guys you're not gonna believe this I just got home 
I gotta go traverse Jen's jungle of a garden. It's like Jurassic Park. Ready for it? Look who's here. They beat me home. So they did 10 miles in, I, it's a 16 minute drive for me. So they did 10 miles about as fast as they did five miles yesterday. They went straight home. This was the best they've ever done. Truly incredible. They're doing so good. All right guys, well, the birds are here. They uh, they beat me home by a country mile. It was only a uh, like a 19 minute drive for me from 10 miles. Or and uh, when I got home, they were here, not like flying around. They were they were here. So uh, on the roof of my neighbor's uh, house, actually, um, I called them down when I saw them. Some of them trapped in, but uh, they were home fast. They were did 10 miles in probably 15 minutes. So they're ready for 20. I got one bird on my neighbor's roof still that's just ignoring me um, that is just not going to eat this morning. And it does look like I'm missing two or three, but uh, they're out of 34 birds, 31 of them were home here waiting for me. So uh, the other three should be back, but um, I'm not going to stop for a couple birds. Uh, the, the, the group did well, so they're going to go to 20. That's it. The other ones got to figure it out or get lost left behind. But all right, everybody, uh, it's two videos in a row this weekend. Uh, thanks for watching, and until the next one.